Well guys, I received the violin today and it has some of the worst damage I've ever seen on a bottom block. Take a look at this. <laughs> this, this is unbelievable. And so what happened was that uh, someone just left it too long. So the instrument uh, came apart down here and someone just left it way too long to repair it and the tension from the strings just kept pulling up here till everything finally collapsed it's it's unbelievable it's nothing i've ever seen before it's just so much damage here So this is definitely going to be an interesting project and I'll, I'll try and follow this one uh, just to see what can be done. Uh, yeah, so this this repair also, it's a Paulus violin, so it's not, you know, it's kind of not in the higher tier of instruments, but it's still a good instrument. It was uh, made in Saxony and Paulus was actually uh, the royal violin maker, as he called himself, so he was commissioned by the king of Saxony at the time, which, uh, you know, it's, uh, and he, he was very proud of it and, you know, it showed on pretty much every one of his labels. So the first thing I have to do is take the chin rest off. That's the easy part. <laughs> and now I've got to try and carefully Split the top off. This is just totally insane. I have not seen anything like this before. I've got to, just got to be so careful that I don't actually do extra damage here. Don't try this at home. Uh, there's a slight difference between a professional and a beginner and you don't want to do that on a good instrument. If you're going to learn this kind of stuff, learn on the $100 violin. <laughs> okay, here we go. Just got to be super careful because this is still very lightly attached. Ah, oh, yeah, look at this. Here's some interesting bugs inside the violin. It's also had a really bad repair. You can see like these two crack repairs. So... Yeah, so the first step's gonna be trying to get that the bottom block, uh, the bottom block out carefully. Now there's another piece of rib that broke out. You can see it belongs uh, over this side here. So I'm going to try and put this together. I'm going to try and keep as much of the original as possible. So the hardest part is trying to get this to to come back down where it belongs. So I'm, I'm going to use some water to press it into shape. Um, so I have to be very careful. Uh, obviously when I use water, like <laughs> water it doesn't mean I'm totally going to soak this. It's just very gentle, you know, very slight amount of water. But I'm just going to clean this, so take a look at the inside here. That is pretty insane. So they're, they're, these are all, um, oh wow, look at this. It's, it's just like a, uh, a little dust ball, but with, uh, with some moths attached to it. Would that be called a moth ball? Haha! <laughs> anyway, um, yes, yeah, so I'm going to clean all these moths out of here as well. Here's another good reason to look after your instrument. Now, the, the problem with this instrument was it basically the bottom uh, came apart and it just separated slightly, but it had still had tension on the strings. And so if, you know, if someone had noticed straight away and had it repaired, it would have been no problems. But it was just left like that for over two years and in a really humid hot climate which meant that uh, it basically just slowly came apart actually it almost looked like a part of it came apart quickly that it just kind of just you know once it kind of lost grip it just went anyway it looks pretty crazy to me i will add some 
I'm gonna put a little bit of um, moisture on this to try and bend it back. But first, I've gotta clean the inside. Tell you what, it's pretty gross in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna just moist this a little bit. I'm just gonna use a bit of paper towel that I've soaked in water. So I'm just going to leave this soak for a little while uh, and then I should be able to press it all back into shape. So I'm going to have a bit of a break for, I don't want to leave it too long because if it gets too soaked it'll, it could ruin the whole thing. So I'm thinking maybe about 10 minutes or so. So I'll come back in 10 minutes. 20 minutes later. So the other thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to actually work on this smoke, try and get this back. So there's some cross breaks here, but it, it's attached at the top. So I'm going to be pressing that back into shape. My goal here is to pretty much make this invisible. It'll be interesting to see if I can do it. Also, I'm going to work a little bit on this crack. I just said I would just fit a little piece of uh, timber just in here and then uh, just close off uh, the crack. Okay, so I've let this soak for a while. So how's it looking? Yep, it's definitely wet. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna use the block, but I'm, I'm gonna put some glad wrap around it. And then I use my special clamp for clamping ribs and I will press this all back into shape. So this is my special clamp for blocks. And uh, actually I'm gonna make a slightly larger bit of PVC. Okay, so what I've done is I've just glad wrapped the bottom block and I've got this special clamp so I'm just going to clamp these two guys together and that should squeeze it back like into the right shape so you guys can see I'm gonna this is kind of a bit weird there we go I have never had to do this like that before so a bit of an awkward one but I reckon we can make this work that's actually looking like it's, uh, I'm just clamping this on now and that should, and then I'm just gonna basically leave it overnight. Yeah, there you go. So I've got this clamp on here, all going well, that's totally gonna regain its shape. So now I'm just gonna glue this little bit and I've just made a little mold that sits over the top here. Um, so I can just glue that, uh, yeah, I can basically, I'll, I'll glue this together and put the mold put the mold there so I can just press it into the mold a little bit and uh, that should get it looking perfect all right here we go and I'm not gonna glue it in one go I'm gonna glue it in more than one go it's like uh, so I'm gonna glue the, the first bit like about half of this from here to there uh, like here around to there and then I'm going to glue these two bits afterwards. So first of all I'm going to uh, glad wrap this um, gluing block. That looks much better. I just want to make sure it doesn't get stuck to the top plate, that would be horrible got really nice and fresh glue uh, it makes all the difference so I'm just making sure that the glue gets into every little nook and cranny that's super important now I've just got to put the clamping block over the top and just clamp this together two, three, and then I've got one more clamp to go. So four clamps, one, two, three, and the fourth one. And then I can basically put this away to dry. I think that's gonna 
it's gonna come together really nicely. Okay, so now I'm just gonna leave this to dry till tomorrow and uh, and then I'll glue the next bit. Four to six weeks later. Okay, so it's about a month later on the this instrument. So this is the Polis instrument repair. It was just incredible. I mean, it was like this whole area just broke out because uh, part of it had, the, the back had come unglued and they basically didn't do anything about it. They didn't take the string tension off. So I just left it under tension and now the, the whole thing just broke. Uh, you had those two huge cracks here and I, I glued them almost straight away. Um, well, there's still a little bit left to go, but I, I, I did kind of the major part. Uh, and then uh, on the uh, on the ribs, the, the ribs basically just broke off right there. So I'm going to have to do a bit of work in trying. Firstly, I'm going to just patch this, piece this together. Once it's pieced together, I'm going to, um, I'm basically going to make a cast and then I'm going to have to figure out a way of, of strengthening where this, where I fit this together. So uh, there's a couple of options, two, uh, two or three different ways that I can do that. So I'm going to think about it. Um, and then uh, I've got to put the block back in. Now it's it's a violin, a Paulus violin made in Germany. Uh, it's had a, a bit of damage on the top plate as well. It's, uh, you know, there's some pretty bad cracks here. So if I'm going to fit a little slither of timber just into this section here. And uh, in the end, uh, it should look very good. I mean, it's a very, it's a bit lighter varnish and quite transparent. So it can be a very difficult varnish to retouch uh, and sometimes, uh, yeah, it can be it can be a tricky one to to make invisible. But obviously, I'm going to do my very best. So first step I'm going to do is I'm going to look and see how well I can glue this piece of rib in. I'm going to wear some, you know, more magnifying glasses just to. The big problem I have here, this is actually warped. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to damp it slightly and then just clamp it onto the block. Where, where it was on before with just a bit of uh, glad wrap in between. That way it'll have exactly the right shape uh, after a day or so. And then once that's done, I am gonna glue, glue the piece onto here. It's gonna be really quite tricky, but I, I, th I think it can be done. So I'll just clamp this. I'll just heat this, uh, wet this a little bit for a moment. I'm just literally just gonna float it into my glue. Okay, so that, sh that piece should have soaked enough. I've just uh, created a little system. So this is the bottom block, and I'm just gonna clamp this piece onto here, make sure it gets the right shape. Check this out. It's like a... Oopsies, hang on a sec, got to twist this, and then pull this back. This clamp was actually designed to, to glue the ribs back on, so couldn't be much more perfect than that. So now it's just going to regain its shape. I'm going to leave it overnight and get back to it tomorrow. Uh, so this is day two. All right, so I'm just going to rub a bit of glue into this crack just down here. It's actually the center join. And then I've got a special clamp that I use to uh, to clamp it together. I accidentally destroyed the last batch of glue, but it was getting to the end of its life anyway. Put like this special clamp here. So I'll leave this drying till tomorrow as well. Tomorrow. Okay, I did find just another spot that I need to glue, and that's the top rib. Uh, right here, it's coming undone. So I've got it. I've actually got a special. Uh, special little gluing block that I use for that. So uh, that would glue that on nice and tightly. So I'm gonna do that at the same time. Might as well get it all done in one go. It's quite a big repair. So it, it, the instrument had just been neglected for a long time and it fell apart. And, uh, but I mean, it was devastating for, <laughs> for the people when they found it. Um, that's a thing. I mean, if you if you're not using an instrument for a few years, you you just can't leave the strings on it. It's uh, it's, it's quite a silly thing to do. Well, that's not working anywhere near as well as I'd like it to. So I'm going to try gluing it from the other side. See if that works any better. 
I'm actually going to make some form of wedge. That's looking way better now. All right, so that's another thing that's going to, I'm just going to pop it back onto the bench back there to dry and then I'll pick it up first thing tomorrow morning. It's evening now, so probably time to go home soon. Hey guys, it's day three of this Paulus repair and uh, I only got to work on it. I'll only get to work on it now. It's like 7.45. I had a hugely busy day. All sorts of things happening. And uh, also I did go for my bike ride, of course. Uh, had my chiropractic treatment in the morning. Went for a little walk, coffee with my wife. Those kinds of things. But anyway, uh, also I had someone try out instruments. So she's a student uh, and she tried out violins between six, uh, between four and six thousand Australian dollars. Uh, she tried about six instruments and was somewhere actually quite close. So she was struggling a little bit with a couple. In the end, she really, really loved the Salvatore Lombardi. It just ended up just winning out by that bit. And uh, and I know she really loved it. Uh, she was kind of yeah, she was kind of hugging it at the end. And I have to do a bit of tweaking to it, so she has to wait. She has to wait a day for me to get it like to get it all finished. And she it was really hard for her. She didn't want to wait the day, but uh, but it's always you know it's always really special to be part in uh, helping people find that beautiful, especially the full size instrument. Um, anyway, so I've got to, I've, uh, yesterday I was pressing this rib because it was warped. I, I kind of pressed it into place. I'm going to have a look at that now. See how that all, uh, yeah, that's looking a whole lot better. So I'm, I'm going to have to glue it on now. Now I'm going to use the same clamp setup. Uh, I'm even going to use the bottom block to, to help glue that together. So I'm going to have to kind of press it and glue it. It's a bit of an unusual one. All right, so uh, hopefully this will come together well. Um, it, it should do. Um, so I've just got to put glue on both surfaces, clamp it together and leave it overnight. I've squeezed that together, I've glued it, so hopefully this will stay together. Um, yeah, hopefully it'll glue well, and then uh, when that's finished, I will, um, I'll have to reinforce that somehow. That's going to be the fun part. You've got to love this. Uh, you know, you always got to play the royal card. <laughs> I did manage to take all the clamps off uh, a little bit earlier, so uh, so I'm all ready to glue.